Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel and today's pick a card video. The Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you some things you can do when you are bored. All you need to do is select a butterfly color that resonates with your spirit and hopefully you will have some new ideas that can make your stay on planet earth a little bit more entertaining and fun. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings. I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation to allow your mind to settle into your spirit by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine, holding it to the count of nine, and releasing it to the count of nine. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. Hello darling, if you selected the orange butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over each card and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about some things you can do when you're bored. I'm so excited, this seems so fun. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara who represents our mind and our throat chakra and she says, <gasps> In between the words, therein lies the truth. I feel that if you are bored, one of the most important things you can do is meditate. Sometimes words get in the way of our true emotions. So if you could take time to really just like, maybe if you can find a body of water, um, go and sit and just watch the waves ripple, just watch the in water because you, you don't want to get caught up in the words. I think another thing you can do is if you are bored, it says in between the words, therein lies the truth. Oh my God, you can paint because again, we're trying to stay away from words. So I think you can paint, you can draw, and you can meditate. Here are three things to do when you are bored. So I'm gonna see what other options we have for you, darling. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Nami. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Nami represents our crown chakra. And her message is, your soul is hungry, feed it solitude, walks in nature, and deep, slow breaths. Child, uh, Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib has already said what you can do when you are bored. You can go for a walk in nature. Even if you can't go for a walk in nature, one of the things you can do is, I like to, um, maybe if you could just find something on your computer where there's like water running or just a really nice nature scene and do some very deep breaths. One of the things I like to do is take my tongue and put it at the very, right behind my teeth and breathe in to the count of nine and hold it to the count of nine and do that and then also the um, put it behind your your um your tongue behind your teeth and then blow from your belly like your belly should go in and out that's a good thing to do it really calms your nerves and it puts you in a very cool head space um Solitude, whatever solitude means for you, if you want to find some really nice affirmations, some really nice music, um, like if you just, this card pretty much says it all. So if you're bored, y'all, you can, you know, find some nice music, meditate, go for a walk, or do some yoga breaths. 
Here are some other things you can do when you're bored, darling. You have Jungle Beauty Goddess Ahara again, which represents your throat chakra. So your throat chakra is pretty active. So what is she telling you to do? Oh my goodness, how you think will determine your happiness. You know, one of the things I used to like to tell my students to do is create a happy place. Go and find all of your awards, everything that was positive that has been written or said about you, child, and create a portfolio. Create a happy place portfolio. Whenever you feel down, just take a look at some of the wonderful things people have said about you. Look at your awards. You can either, if you have the space, you can make a room, your culture, you know, your self-esteem room. But a safe place or a happy place, um, it's just a place where you have a lot of things around you that really make you feel good about. Feel, I'm sorry, that make you feel really good about yourself. Even if people have said nice things to you online, start collecting those things and putting them in a portfolio so that they can bring you up if you're feeling down. I have one more card for you, darling, on what you can do when you are bored. We have Jungle Beauty Goddess, the me. And let's see what advice she has for you. Oh, she says you are a timeless and limitless being. Proceed in this manner. This means that if you are bored, I think that if you are timeless and limitless, I feel that you should start thinking about some of the things you love to do as a kid. Which, like, I don't know if you like to play jacks or hopscotch or play video games. Go get an old video game. Whatever you used to do as a child, I really feel that that will connect you to the truth of yourself. So whether it's painting or drawing or even finding like your old favorite cartoons. Like my favorite cartoon with my kids was Hey Arnold. When I was a kid, I think I watched um, Popeye the Sailor Man. And what else did I watch? I can't really remember them all the superheroes in general like the hulk and i mean the cart you know the cartoons so i would say since you are a timeless and limitless being i feel like you should really go back to your childhood find your favorite candy mine used to be now laters find your favorite candies your favorite cartoons and a nice good coloring book and let that help you tap into your creativity I really hope that this video helps someone just find something fun to do when they're bored. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the yellow butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this hand on what you can do when you are bored. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is, let me get her in focus here. What is your message? She says, let it go. Some things are not meant to be known. You know what I think you should do? With this particular card, she represents our crown chakra. I think you should write a letter about something you need to let go. Like if somebody hurt you or something happened at work or some like say, you know, you were embarrassed or you just something that you just wish you could redo. I feel like you should just write a really good letter and saying how I felt when the teacher called on me or when everybody was selected to be promoted except me you know whatever i'm just making up stuff but you could write a letter or something you need to let go there's a couple things you can do one you can put it in a helium balloon and let it float away two you can burn it and three you can bury it under in a tree like you know i like to i always like to ask the tree for permission first and just bury it's the thing that you need to let go and i think this is a really good way to utilize your time when you're feeling bored because once you get rid of the things that are no longer serving you emotions that are no longer serving you it'll free you up to do some creative and 
fun things that you didn't even know that you um, were interested in or had a talent for. So I'm going to look at the next card for you. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess uh, Kotara and Namib. And it says, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. So basically, oh my God, I think what you should do when you are bored, you should think in terms of not just, you know, going out and doing some gardening, because that's really a good thing to do. But I think you should do something that is taking one step towards uh, a goal that you have. So let's just say you want to do laundry and you hate laundry and you're just really bored, then I, I know this sounds boring, but what if you just said, okay, I'm just going to sort my clothes today. I'm not going to think about the rest. Or I'm just going to organize my books because I need to study. Like planting, when I think of planting a seed, I always think in terms of doing something that's going to benefit me later. And so when you're planting the seed, it's not the fun part, right? It's like, okay, what is it that I can do today that is going to make you know, two weeks from now, a little easier. And so that can be, so if there are any things you need, anything around the house that you need to do, I feel like if you even sit down and make a to-do list and say, okay, I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, just organize it in your head. Um, I think that that is going to be such a big help to you to just know that you've already started, you know, organizing how you're going to go about uh, accomplishing that task. I know this might sound, you know, not that fun to you, but I promise you that of all the things I probably said, this is going to be the most helpful. I have another card for you on what you can do when you are bored. You can, let's see what Jungle Beauty Goddess Charlie has in store for you. Her message to you is that you can speak your truth with audacity. Oh my God, I love this. So if you are bored, I think that you should write a poem or write a song and you should sing it from the bottom of your soul. Like um, one of my songs that I, that I created, um, you know, this is a song I sing to myself in the shower or whenever. And it's, it's something like, I am a multi-millionaire. Money flow to me from everywhere. I throw my hands up in the air. I think that, yeah, I don't know, it's silly. I don't want to, you know. But anyway, that's my song, and I sing it with audacity. So I think that if you could write a poem, write yourself some affirmations, write yourself, um, you know, a nice song, affirmation, poem, song, sing it with audacity, even if you're the only person listening. I think that, it, you know what, that is one of my favorite things to do when I'm bored. And as a matter of fact, I like to do that with my granddaughter. Um, we're not bored, but I, I, we're always making up songs. And you know how kids like go through the um, the no stage. You know, I have I like I like for her to sing no 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 instead of just saying no. You know, even even though you know kids like to say no, but why not make it a song? Why not say it with audacity? You know what I'm saying? So I think that is a perfect thing to do when you're bored. And especially like if you have something on your mind, you should even singing a song like, I'm so, you know, I'm bored. Why are you bored? I'm bored because I don't want to do the dishes. No, you know, stuff like that. Just get really silly. I think that'll be really fun. I have one more card for you on what you can do when you are bored. And we have the father of the general beauty goddesses, Demata, created the universe and divine masculine and his message to you is just because you have power doesn't mean you have to use it now this card i think basically let's just say that to me i'm gonna tell you what that means to me let's just say there is a fly in your house or there is an ant or there like for one day go around and see how many things you can say is that does that sound weird but it's but you're bored okay so as opposed to you killing the spider why use your power to kill a spider why why not go out of your way and find a cup or the ants like i feel like 
power means that you have the ability to destroy and then you are you have the upper hand what if you took some time and said okay I'm gonna put money in somebody's meter I am going to do something super super nice for people I'm gonna take my power and no matter how small it is I'm gonna brighten somebody's day does that make sense even if it's an ant even if it's a fly like use your power for good and I promise you, if you could come up with like 10 things you can do to make, you know, to spare a life, to like say, well, I'm this mighty powerful being, but today I am going to look for things that I can do to help somebody, whether it's taking their, you know, baggies to the car. I'm going to use my power to make this world a very wonderful place. I really hope that some of these ideas can help you when you're bored. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the lavender butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition on some things you can do when you are bored. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra. Her element is earth. And she says, your body needs fuel, rest, water, food, and exercise. Gee. So if you're bored, I feel like one of the things you can do is prep your food for the week. Like just make it really fun. Like say, okay, well, I'm just going to go and cut up all the carrots and, you know, whatever you like to eat. I think another thing you can do, you see your body needs rest. I think it would be really cool to look for some really nice music that you can sleep or go look for a nice sleeping mask or... Um, there are a lot of like meditations that you can find online to help you sleep. I think you can, it says you need fuel, which fuel is pretty much, you know, you need energy. So what is, so what you can do if you are bored is to me, make a really nice to-do list of all of the things that you want to accomplish in your life and separate them so say okay this is my three month goal this is my six month goal this is my nine month goal this is my year goal and then give yourself a five year goal that is i'm telling you i know it says your body needs fuel rest water food and exercise to me i don't know for some reason i'm boring that gives me fuel fuel when I set goals for myself when I kind of clarify what it is that I want and where I'm going it really helps me I think another thing you can do when you're bored is um, besides you know you can you know I'm not a big fan of rest TV to me is like a pleasure so if you know if you want to rest um, I don't know I think you know it would be best if you could maybe take a power nap or just take a you know meditate or um, figure out like some exercises like some deep breaths you can do um, I, I find that when I am bored one of the things I really like to do is do research like what are some good healthy foods to eat what are some good vitamins for my brain what are some really good exercises to do for like that's easy you know what I'm saying so I think one of the things you can do when you're bored is really say okay I'm gonna use this time not to um, look at you know YouTube videos like or you know or just you know um, peruse through social media I'm going to use this time to find exercises vitamins food and things that I can do to help me to feel better because sometimes we're so caught up in the rat race that we never take the time we need to kind of like refuel our body or refuel our mind but one of the things you can do also is 
that I find very helpful is have a good, I call it my sp- a spiritual book, like any book about spirituality, a good candle. Charlie, let me tell you about this. Get yourself a good candle that smells really good. And um, I'm not sure what you call it, a steamer, but they're, they're really inexpensive. I have one that has a light to it. It has a little steam, and I like to put an essential oil in it. I have some candles that I bought from Michael's. They smell really good. And then I have this book. It's um, called Convoluted, Convol- I think it's called Convoluted Earth. Or I mean, I, her, it's by Dolores Cannon. I read her first book, second book. It's a very deep reading. I like to burn a candle. Um, I read the the Harry Potter's. I want. I still need to read book five through seven. But basically, what I'm saying is, find a juicy book that you really, really enjoy. Burn a candle and um, use some essential oil and read for like two hours reading is one of the healthiest things you can do for your brain Um, it's like a workout for your brain but find something to read that really makes you happy make your toes curl you know what i'm saying and um also make yourself a really good cup of tea darling my favorite is peach i love peach tea um there are some really good um uh, chakra teas they're called Buddha chakra teas I have all of them and um, you only need one because they will they really work okay so get yourself a good 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 um, chakra tea and you're gonna get yourself a candle you're gonna get yourself some essential oils and a little steam and you're gonna find a good book something that you enjoy and read for two hours I promise you when you come out of your little you know spa your little, you know, intellectual, I call it my little spiritual spa, you're going to feel rejuvenated and you're going to feel like a new person. So I have another card for you. Something you can do when you're bored. Oh, I love this one. It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And it says, start where you are with what you have. <gasps> Oh, cha! When you are bored, let me tell you what you do. I think one of the things, if you are bored and you're watching this video, I don't think I've been bored in like a, I don't know, probably since I was like, I, I don't remember it being bored. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, but I'm gonna say I'm human, so maybe when I was five. But um, start where you are with what you have means that whatever goal you have don't think you need a better camera don't think you need a big computer don't think that you need a lot of expensive fabric i mean i feel like go and cut off a pair of blue jeans and turn it into a purse and then sell it on on ebay you know what i'm saying like whatever dream you have right now i don't care if you film it with your cell phone that's what you need to be doing that's that's what I think. Like you don't you don't it doesn't have to be big time. It just means start right now. And I feel that when people are bored, it's because they aren't in alignment with who they are and what it is they want to do while they're here on the planet. So that's one thing. Start where you are with what you have. And you know, one of the things you can do is also is like whatever it is you really want. Start a little like make a business plan and it doesn't have to be some big document. Just say, okay, what I want to do is make popcorn and sell it on the streets. And this is, these are different flavors that I'm going to have. Just sketch it out, draw, draw a picture. You know, another thing I like to do too is I'm not the, I, not, I can't really draw, but I love to draw my ideas out. So I'll just draw like, um, like ideas for my videos, you know? And for some reason, it's like drawing does stimulate your right hemisphere of your brain. And left, your left brain is when you make a list. Your right brain is when you draw. And I feel like when I draw something, it, I, for some reason, I feel like I, I breathe life into it. Even though writing can do the same thing, but there's just something about drawing it. So I'm going to ask you to draw your dream, you know. Um, the next card I have for you is, it says, we have, it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess to me. And it says, close your eyes to see the truth. Listen to silence to hear the answer. This card is telling you that when you're bored, you should meditate. 
And I think, you know, meditation means different things for different people. So I just always tell people you should Google, but um, just, you know, simply you just really, you don't, you don't even have to close your eyes to settle your mind. You know, um, I know for me sometimes I just like to sit and um, just, just be, maybe get a gemstone, hold your gemstone you know, and just rub it and just, you know, just hold it. And another thing you can do now, I know everybody, look, I don't, I'm a little, you know, I'm not weird to myself, but it's one thing I, I, I've read this a long time ago, but I don't know why I find this relaxing, but to think of the four elements, you know, the water, air, fire, and earth. And just imagine yourself being air, like you are air and you're blowing, you know, and you see the water, like at the ocean, and now you are, now you're the ocean. So just imagine that you've just, you are the ocean. And then, you know, you, you wash ashore and um, you turn into the sand because now you're the earth. So you're the sand and then the sun is coming down and you are the sun, which represents fire. Like when I do that, it, it ooh, I get, mmm, child, you know, you see, you see those dolls, you see this giraffe back here I made? I made all of these dolls back here and I made the giraffe that just, everything you see behind me I made. The clothes, I didn't make the mask for her, but I made this, okay? So sometimes you just need to figure out how to tap into your creativity. So when you're feeling a little bored, tap into the elements. Imagine yourself as water, fire, air, and what did I miss? And earth, I'm sorry. So yeah, just whatever scenario you come up with and let it, and then just when you're imagining, just you are it, you become it, and then it, just set for about 10 15 minutes and let it settle into your spirit and you'll be surprised at the wonderful ideas that will come to you i have one more card for you of things you can do when you are bored darling the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess sahara and she says if the answer is yes or no you have not asked the right questions I, this is one of my favorite cards. You know, this thing, if you, the one reason people are bored is because they're thinking to themselves, should I go to the gym or should I go to the movies? Should I do this or should I do that? Whatever you are thinking about, think of a way to merge them or to do an alternative. So, <clears throat> as opposed to doing your normal <coughs> workout, or should I go to the gym? Just say, well, you know what? Maybe, what, oh, I got an idea. What if I take my iPad and I just watch one of my favorite movies while I'm on the treadmill? You see how you just merge them? So as opposed to thinking, as long as you move away from this or that thinking and start thinking like, how can I merge them together? you will find that you get so much more out of your life. I mean, guys, I could write a book about the stress I go through when I start saying, should I make a video or should I work on editing book three? I decided, no, Sandy, you go ahead, you make um, videos, right? Make at least two weeks worth of videos, back to back every day, and then you take that time, that space that you've created to edit book three, right? And this way you're not forgetting to or not having the time to upload to your channel and you're still getting your book down. But whenever I have either or thinking, I always find myself stuck. So whatever you're, whatever is in your mind right now, find a way to merge them into one no matter how silly it is and then you'll start coming up with some really really cool activities i really hope that some of these ideas will help stimulate ideas i mean you know help stimulate you or make you 
make your life more fulfilling and or inspire you in some way to go after whatever it is you want or enjoy your life more. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the blue butterfly, this reading is for you. I am going to go over each card, each card and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition of some things you can do when you are bored. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar who's asking you already to use your third eye and your imagination. So what she says, perfection is the enemy of ingenuity. Oh my God, you know what she's saying? Like the reason you're bored is because you don't want to just, you know, you're, you're afraid to make a mistake. But one thing life has taught me is that you can't think it through. You have to do it through. So one of the things you can do if, you, if you're if you bored is I think you should go and try to build something. I don't care like if you go to Walmart, if you go to someplace inexpensive, if you're someplace in another country, tell yourself I'm going to make a boat out of whatever materials are available to me. Whether it's a paper boat or a clay boat or you're going to go in the refrigerator and um, mix some, what do you call it, uh, flour and I think salt. You can look at the recipe but you can make homemade clay and say I am going to make something. So go out of your way to make something another thing you could do if you are bored I feel like you should take like um, a can or a bottle and decide that you're going to make a person or a doll like I have found that just when you decide okay I'm going to make something out of this oh my god what happens is this while you're trying to figure out how you're going to make a person out of a bottle or you know people make dolls out of spoons they put the little face on and put the little clothes on you know I just want you to find something that you are going to make with the resources you have I don't want you to go to the store because that's gonna make it a little easy for you but like if you just take in like some straws or some sticks or some fabric or some paper bags or whatever you have to do make a paper doll and then say okay I'm gonna make a paper doll and then I'm gonna do a stop motion video that would be really I've done that out of pure just I need something to do and I'm gonna tell you why it's so important to do something creative when you're bored because when your brain is involved in an activity it's it frees up the freeways the neuron freeways for really good ideas to come through and so sometimes I have made things that look really horrible because they were really paving the way for something phenomenal to come through so always look to draw something make something but really try to make something like use your hands what it would you know I don't care if it's the sand the rocks I don't paint rocks okay get some nail polish go outside and get some rocks and paint them and make them super gorgeous but you need to make something because once you open up the the um, the, the freeway the pathway for creativity no matter how small it is get some toilet Get some toilet paper, yes, and um, put it in some water. Listen, this is a good thing to do. Get some toilet paper, put it in some water, um, and then you want to strain it and you want to add like some white glue to it, and you can use that as a you know to make things to as like a little bit of a clay. I also like to use foil to make things. Like I don't know if you can see my. Uh, I don't want to mess with Sashat. It's just, she's a doll. I made her staff with foil and a glue and paper, but <laughs> I don't want to move all this. But so make something so you can open up the pathways in your brain. So I have another card for you on something you can do when you are bored. So we have a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby, who kind of represents our third chakra. Element is fire. She said, "Oh, she said life is not meant to be fair; it's meant to strengthen your courage." So to me, you know, you know what you can do. Go and 
Like if you are afraid of bugs, I just really feel like I'm not going to say go do something crazy with a bug. But what I'm going to say is do something that you were always afraid to do. Like maybe you could go to the zoo and pet an animal that, you know, is safe that you would have never done before. Or maybe you could uh, go to a restaurant. And this is a really cool thing to do. It, and pick a food that you have never had before and say, I'm going to try this today. Or you could even make something at home and say, you know what? I am going to eat something I've never eaten before. Or maybe dye your your t-shirt a different color you know what I'm saying I feel like those type of activities will really um, oh my god dye your clothes you know take a pair of old jeans turn them into shorts take a pair of old jeans turn it into a part you know make a purse take um, take a t-shirt and make a dress most of my summer clothes is really, I like to take a bunch of t-shirts and I make them into dresses. So that would be a really fun thing to do. So when we say life is not meant to be fair, it's meant to strengthen your courage. It's like this, if you had every single thing that you wanted right now, you would have no need to be creative. So if you're bored, that means you are not utilizing the resources around you to create something you know interesting and fun so that's how I want you to, to think I want you thinking right now um, what's missing in my life that I could possibly create you know what I'm saying so if you I don't know I'm just trying to think of something like what would I do what would I create right now that is missing in my life I think I would create I don't know I have to think I think I think one of the things I want to do is maybe like create a um, what do you call it? a quiet book for my granddaughter like that's something because I always want to come up with activities for her and, um, and I even had an idea just the other day about Play-Doh like we were playing with play-doh and I was thinking like you know it would be really cool if I could you know um, find a better way to storage this or I don't know but all I'm saying I know one of the things my granddaughter like to do is play in the Vaseline when I'm combing her hair so I want to make some slime and put it in her hair container so that she'll have something to play with you know that's that that is how I distract her so what I'm trying to say to you is because I want to distract my granddaughter when I'm combing her hair now I have to come up with an idea of something that's missing to make my life better so no matter how big or small it is think about what can make your day a little bit easier and then go about trying to figure out how you can fix it okay even if it's a better way to take notes or something at your job or something with your car. It doesn't matter what is missing in my life. And if I could create that missing link, my life would be a little bit easier. Next, I have a card for you uh, uh, from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib, who represents our soul. And her message to you is, give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. Forgive yourself. Again, if you are bored, I really feel like one of the things you should do, and I've said this in a previous video, is I think you should think about some things in your life that maybe, oh, this would be really cool, that maybe did not work out for you, and say, here are the lessons I learned, and create a book about the lessons you learned. Oh my God, I, you know what? I just gave myself an idea. <laughs> Like if I was to think about, oh my God, every year, you know how people make New Year's resolutions about what they're going to do differently? For me, every year, I actually have lessons that I feel like 
I learned from the universe. Like, I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned is like my own business, you know, in terms of I hate that I'm so nosy. You know, it's just one of my, it's one of my human flaws. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, just trying to, um, yeah, my own business. I still struggle with that to this day. Or I learn lessons that, you know, about people. I don't think, I'm one of those people, I don't think people change. Or I, I look for my accountability and when something happens, like what could I have done differently? Like, I think you should find 10 things in your life where things did not turn out the way you expected them to and say, here are some things I could have done differently. I feel that that is a perfect thing to do when you are bored. Make it a blog post. You can do a video about it. You can even do a mini book, child. Because when I go back and I look at the lessons that I've learned from things that didn't work, I'm not just talking about the thing. I'm not talking about, you know, writing things like about, um, you know, forgiving people, which, you know, you can do. But I'm talking about the times where you, you know, you thought, God, if I had only done A, B, C, D, and E then this wouldn't have happened. Do you know what I mean? And I feel that that is a really good way to utilize your time. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara message to you is your highest and best self is your only competition. You know what? What she is saying, y'all, is... You know how some people always feel like they're in competition. They got to dance better than somebody else, draw better, paint better, make. Look, I don't have to make a better YouTube video better than anybody, but but I can really just try to make one better than the last one I made. What can I improve? Can I improve my thumbnail? Can I, you know, speak louder? Can I have better eye contact? Can I change my voice? Do you understand what I'm saying? So. Um, basically your highest and best self is your only competition so what I would like for you to do is to look at I don't know if it's a, if you've taken a test if you bake cookies anything that you have done that you wish you had done better do it like I don't care if it's washing your gym shoes or ironing your pants or you maybe you were trying to do your hair or maybe you were trying to do your makeup find at least three things that you have done in the last six months that you really were not that happy with and you say okay I make I am just trying to be better myself do this when you are bored first make the list and then do something casual I don't care if it's repainting a picture or maybe I could have um, been nicer to the cashier you know what I'm saying so the next time you go out go out of your way to be extra nice but the point I'm making is when you're bored, you're, it's like this is a good chance for you to check in with your soul and say, hey, you know what? We're on this planet for a reason. That means we're still growing. We're still learning. We're still evolving. Let me check in with you and see what we can do better. I have one last card from you for you on some things you can do when you are bored. Some ideas maybe we can get going here. We have a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, she says, listen to your heart. Aww. So if I were you, I would sit down and I would actually, you know, um, align myself or get very quiet and say, what is it? that I would really want to accomplish before I leave this planet. Like what do I want? What do I want the world to know about me? What do what gift would I like to leave behind? And and just really like listen to your heart, not to your parents, not to society, not what other people think you should do. But just really say, you know, do I really want to um yeah, you know, I, I really do want a pop-up shop, or I really do want to sell jewelry on Etsy. I really do want to have make my own jewelry. I really do want to. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I, I really think that sometimes we we say we're bored because we don't know the words for. 
I can't hear what my heart really wants for me. We can't hear our the whispers of our dreams. We can't hear the whispers of our truth because we think that we're always supposed to be doing something. So I think you should create a space in your life so that you can, you know, like, so let's just say you're bored right now. Do you know what it is that you want to do more than anything in the world? Is it something you want to make? Is it something you want to, um, is some place you want to travel? Is there a museum? Is it something you can bake? Like no matter how small it is, there is, you know, listen to your heart. As a matter of fact, you should make like a little portfolio or a little book, shape it, you know, I would get some like paper and shape it like a heart and I would just hold my heart and I would, and I would say, what do you want? What is, why did we come to this planet? What gifts did we come to share? Who did we come to love? You know, that type of thing. And I'm going to tell you a really good gemstone. Oh my God, guess what? I got it here. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a strawberry quartz um, skull. And strawberry quartz actually helps you align with your soul's purpose. It reminds you, it connects with your heart chakra. And it helps you to remind you of why you're here. I always feel like, you know, my gemstones come into my life to provide support and help me. So that's a really good thing to do. Um, it's work on your heart chakra so that you can be in alignment with your truth and what it is you really want. Because I feel like, child, once you get in alignment with your heart chakra, you would never be bored again. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.